Impressive architecture. He's not only a curator for treasure, he's also a, uh... He, he knows lots about architecture. This is a tower. He writes a column for Architecture Weekly. <laughs> you have to be kidding. He doesn't not, write not particularly. Every week. He doesn't write particularly well, but they don't. They don't have anybody else to write for him, so. They just need an archaeologist to talk about ancient stuff every couple months, and yeah. so they call him up. <laughs> <laughs> he delivers his copy in like crayon. <laughs> Inca like use brick. <laughs> Inca have pretty women, big boobies. Judging from this toothpick I found earlier, nice they had giant teeth, and were also related to the dinosaurs. <laughs> in fact, back in Maya times, or Incan times, excuse me, Same everybody was thing, honestly. <laughs> everybody was was related to dinosaurs. See this jaguar action figure I found? Looks like a dinosaur. It proves my belief. <laughs> they say the I'm Inca crazy. Had incredibly terrible ability. <laughs> Of telling frogs apart from chameleons. <laughs> Back then, they were the same animal, see? Further proof of evolution. But now, back to <laughs> architecture. These are cannons. And jars. Possibly thousands of years old. These are some really dramatic sounding cannons and jars. Oh, you can't be serious. That's not a door! Wasn't I just out here? All those doors are locked and heavy. Like, he says you can't be serious as if he believes that the original <laughs> plan was for people to go out that way. <laughs> <laughs> Intended by the builders. This is ridiculous. What, could Incans fly too? <laughs> That's the subject of this next column. <laughs> Incans could fly. Incans were once dragons, I can tell, because there was a door that led to air. What the heck? They must have had wings. And they were already dinosaurs. So wings plus dinosaurs is dragon. I have to bust through that window. One day I will find, find out exactly how long their pants were. <laughs> ah, new gun. And grenades. But it is a micro 9mm. It is, it's just an Uzi. It's okay. I'm not a big fan of it. But I'll use it anyways. Also, cutting to an earlier recording of this level that I did a long time ago, <laughs> where I was really terrible because... That was seamless. <laughs> seamless. But, um... No, I just wanted to put this little bit in from an earlier recording because the way I died, I gotta say... Made me laugh pretty hard because I've never seen do, it happen. Do you get caught inside architecture? Again? No, no, I do not wiggle through geometry like Fifty Cent did. Well, I do die. I do bounce. <laughs> I mean, the way the way you die, it even looks like a flashback. <laughs> it's not really my fault that I think that. It's the bounciest death. It's boring, boring, boring. Pacific Islands are actually built on inflatable bouncy castles. Oh. Hmm. What if Incans had ball pits? No, no, no. That that was a uh, mine invention. Oh, okay. Much later. Mm. Thousands of years later. Not that long. Hundreds of years. Yes. Look out. Got him in my sight. Hmm? Oh, 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 the way oh, really I missed. Dramatic. The way the really dramatic music cuts out once in a while, it seems to punctuate weird things. Like, apparently that first guy on the ledge was very, very important. <laughs> oh, took care of the... Oh, wait. What the hell are you doing there? Get out of there. He's just completely baffled by my grenade explosion that he just didn't want to shoot at me when I ran past him. This man have great fire magic. <laughs> And there's one treasure up on here that has its own reward for finding it because it is a game reference. This is a uh, precursor orb from Naughty Dog's Jack Games, which you had to collect. Uh, yeah. It is an Easter egg in the shape of an Easter egg. Uh, there are so many layers of meaning. <laughs> yeah, the precursor orbs were just basically like stars from Mario. 
you had a race to get him all the time in the third one, which drove me <laughs> insane. I wasn't actually a big fan of the Jack games for some... They just... The first one was okay, and the other two were just... I don't know. They used the same mold for that. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of treasures that are just the same, but like bronze or gold or silver. I thought Inca treasures were handmade by master craftsmen. Well, that's the plot twist. They, they learned how to make production lines. Well, the craftsmen are so masterful that they can make identical copies for, by hand. Mm. Out of different metals. They're all, like, robotic precision. It must mean they're robots, too. Or at least cyborg. Robot dino dragons! <laughs> Drake, you're on to something. <laughs> One day, he's just gonna, by accident, He's gonna find a place where several different skeletons somehow all like merge together I, and fossilize. I can't wait for Drake to publish his thesis. <laughs> oh, nobody there. And I was really dumb and forgot there was a gun right there and died. Oh well. Oh god. Uh, no. <laughs> Anyways. I can only imagine that uh, Jameson's part to play was just keeping Drake's dumber ideas in check <laughs> now that he's dead. It's <laughs> cyborg robot <laughs> dino dragon. Yeah. Thankfully, unlike some other games, the guys behind turrets are not glued to them. You can just, you don't even have to kill them, you can just like scare them off the turret. Oh, that is sensical. Yeah. Oh, grenade. Blech. Flying twirly oh, back kick thing. I don't know what you damn. call that. It's a triple sow cow into a backflip kick or something. I don't know. It's awesome. It looked more like a double toe loop to me. Yeah. I don't know what any of those words would really mean. <laughs> uh, it depends on where you take off and land from on your skate and also whether you're facing forward or backward at the beginning and end. Oh, okay. Isn't the sow cow like just a spin in the air? At or something? Well, they're all just spins in the air. But, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, axles are considered more difficult because there's an extra half turn involved. Huh. Like, you take off facing backwards and you land facing forwards. Hmm. Man, I'm learning about skating. Ice skating. Oh, yeah. I know something about everything. No Don't sign worry. of her. It's either very good or very bad. Oh, no. She's not hanging for hours. I deduce that something has happened, or will occur, in the future. <laughs> Elena? What the hell is she doing? Hmm. Hello? Uh, Buca Pintu! Si abaini, pichara secara. Ah, crap. See you later! Chipatan Buka Pintu! Ah, Tai! Ha It worked! There he is! Up there! Get on the gun! Oh boy. Ooh, new pistol. It translates to BP is great. <laughs> uh, the new pistol. Oh wait, no, I use it later. But, um. It is a Magnum. They're usually kind of rare. They hold like 12 shots max. Wait, but... weren't you just fighting down there? Yeah. So, did you... They brought in new barrels? Oh, no, it's... Oh, yeah, they did respawn. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, the barrel boy... Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe base. I had different recordings. There was one where I didn't blow up the barrels or something, but no, there was no transition. So, yeah, the barrels just reappeared. Thank you, Ghost God. Or Ghost God, Barrel God. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, here's the Magnum. Bam! It's a little bit stronger than the shotgun. And it's pretty much almost always a one-hit kill from a long distance. Unless you, like, nick one of the bigger guys, like, in the arm or something. But as long as it's a body shot, it's pretty much a one-hit kill. Whee! Woo! Textures have not loaded. Bugs you me. You just can't stay dry, can you? <laughs> Oh, one thing I haven't pointed out yet is that um, when you're taking cover, he doesn't. He has like multiple different stances and animations for when you're taking cover. And 
It's like one thing they want to do. Shot sideways and killed him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on there. Oh, grenade launcher. But um, they made multiple different types of animations for you to take the cover, and he also flinches when bullets skip near him. Like, <laughs> see, he, he reloads like a normal human being when standing up yeah. with the grenade well, launcher. I need that shotgun. Oh, just get over that table. Thank you. you should blow up the shotgun. <laughs> The shotgun, screw you. More grenades, and there is a treasure over here, behind this box. Golden spoon. It's small. It's an entire golden dinner set by the end of this. It's, it's not it, even it, an ancient treasure. It's just something <laughs> the pirate captain bought. <laughs> it's smaller than the toothpick. <laughs> and this room really reminds me of a room in Sands of Time. I swear there's yes, a room. Yes, I was about to say that. It looks so similar. Like, even the first it, time I played, it's like, wow. The one where you swing around on the ropes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just so similar. I mean, there's no swinging in this, but... Should be. There should be, but... It's always a good time for swinging. I love swinging. Yeah, I'm a bit of a swinger. <laughs> Oh, he has a gun on you. Give me that. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I like, I like how he helicoptered over that guy's head. That, his head. You, you pounded him in the Rasta beanie. <laughs> how dare you? Uh, here comes another badass kick. I love that. The bloodlust is strong. <laughs> So many people have died in this game already! I can't get over it. I'm pretty sure we're rooting for the bad guy here. <laughs> uh, what's up, fat man? <sighs> well, that's all of them. And, you know, just celebrate my victory a little here. Wee! <laughs> I splash in your dead body! Woohoo! Yeah! Lucky! Oh, and there's like one shotgun over there too. Might as well get that. Woo! <laughs> and you're gonna have to get up to a network of walkways in between the. Oh, it, this is the room from San. Yeah, like I wonder if they like like that room a lot for some reason. It's like, you know, let's just put that in our game for some reason. It's just so so similar. There's just no ropes. That's like the big difference. Wait, did you have to push? crates in that room too? Yes. Oh yeah, that's right. It's been a long time. Oh, here comes the quietest dive. <laughs> <laughs> you had to push crates because otherwise you couldn't run up the walls because your boots would be wet. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, no crate pushing, but we do gotta get up that wall somehow. With wet Drake. With wet Drake. Mm hmm. And we do this by just finding some cranks and filling the place up with more water. Oh, that's cool. Alternatively, you just could have jumped into the picture for this level near the top and skipped all this. <laughs> oh, I wish. This is the closest he's come to bathing in weeks. <laughs> Elena will be so happy about that. You just smell like musty water now instead of just sweat. It's great. Yay! This actually is how he takes showers. He he has a he has a really tall shower and it's got like a rock climbing thing in there, and he just climbs the rocks and then showers up from up there. I see. It's the only way he can do it like comfortably. He feels really insecure in the shower for some reason. It's because he doesn't he can't wear his giant belt buckle. Oh man, the belt buckle is the source of his power. <laughs> Jesus, Elena, where are you? I'll re I'm over here. I'll reload that gun and be nice before I throw it on the ground. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's so important about that tower? Oh! Son of a bitch! 
Even though it shows, like, ow, I'm getting hurt in the cutscene, you don't actually get hurt. So I don't know why it's there, but whatever. I don't know, I, th I think it's pretty clever to uh, integrate damage notifications into the cutscene, yeah. sort of. I think that's the only time it happens, though. It, it brings the game to... Well, how often do you get shot in cutscenes? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> no, really, how often do you get shot in cutscenes? <laughs> I, I don't know, I never played this game. Not that often. Oh, hey, good Unfortunately, when I blew up that guy with that last grenade, he was like the one time, every time I've blown him up with a grenade, he's always flown over the side like crazy, and today is just the day he didn't feel like flying over the side. Oh, man. Ouch, ouch. Oh, man. Let's see how you get out of this one, Drake. I throw grenades. Surprise. Oh, that no. seems like a reasonable solution, <laughs> Drake. These crates here are also destructible. Anything that's got, like, caution... If they're, like, tiny crates and they have caution written on the side, uh, they can break apart from getting shot a ton or blown up. As long as there aren't explosive crates that you hide behind. Oh, no. There are no s secret Crash Bandicoot blow up when you touch them crates. Oh, scary tower. Oh. Uh, there's somewhere... There's a lot of treasure by trees in this game. Like, this big old tree over here has got one by it. It's got a shiny. Whoop. Give me that. And just take a look up over here for a second. Why are, are you pretty in love again? with water? I don't know. I just like the blue. And I also like those mountains. Look at them. Those mountains? I guess, mountains. if you're into mountains. I don't know. I'm into geography. Not really. But sometimes it's nice to look at. They're not real. Go look at a real mountain, why don't you? There's no mountains here. Uh -huh. What's this? I've looked at real mountains It's before. a winch. <laughs> the heck is this? A spoon? <laughs> What is this madness that I've interacted with five times in the past minute? <laughs> I just don't get technology. Technology that was mastered centuries before my birth. I don't get it. Same symbol, but what's that got to do with the tower? Does it shoot? Yes or no? Do I <laughs> care? Same answer. Hmm, gotta get up to that tower. They're jumping. Surprise. Uh. Whee! Uh. I wish there was. I bet a there's a treasure button. on top of this. Oh no. There actually is. On top you can't of one get of these. up to those. Whoop! That was a terrible jump. Ah. Uh. Uh, hop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, memories. Okay. There we go. Let's use this for bum, some reason. Bum. Drake, you monster! You are <laughs> destroying archaeological evidence! You are the worst person! Oh, dodge it! Everybody dies to that the first time. Because that's the, like the first time you ever see a quick time event, and one of the only times you ever see a quick time event, so I don't know why it's there. But at least it's not pressing a random button, you just press the dodge button. Which makes sense. Yeah, okay. Press dodge. It's just you're not yeah. expecting it, so it always crushes you the first time you play the game. He should really be wearing gloves. I don't yeah, he's know. probably got the roughest hands. Elena's not going to like that. If the plot's going where I think it's going. <gasps> oh no. Just break oh, himself by no stepping one on tosses it. a dwarf. <laughs> Surprising that like the entire tower just doesn't crumble because he looks at it. <laughs> this is a destroyer of architecture. There's a reason they never let Drake into museums. It's not because he'd <laughs> steal anything. Although he would. <laughs> he just has the worst luck. Just... He's just... It's just a bowl in a china shop. <laughs> but like yeah, he has a... you, you better believe he'd steal everything in sight. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. 
Yep. He also just does not like skeletons. He would just throw that skeleton off just to spite it and land on it. You have no respect for the dead, even though you are the number one producer of dead. <laughs> this subtitle right here completely spoils the door opening scene. <laughs> I had no idea how he would react to that. I know. Would the door actually open? Maybe he just got the completely the wrong set of she? keys. Who knows? Maybe he wouldn't find it particularly funny at all. Hmm. Maybe he just would have been okay with it. A-okay. Okay. Whoop, another grenade launcher. Another turret guy. He's dead. Why, why did you headbutt the crates? Why did you <laughs> headbutt the crates? It's dramatic. It fits in with Drake's character. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Watch Whoop. out for that. I really like this music. I don't, yeah, I don't care if it drops me out. It's game. better than anything I'm going to say. <laughs> I'll just take it down like half volume. But yeah, this is one of my favorite tracks in the game right here. It's pretty awesome sounding. Also, the soundtrack for this game and the second game are on iTunes Ooh. for like 10 bucks. I bought them. They're pretty nice. Oh, Magnum up over here. Give me that. Well, now you have a gun for people with big penises. Sully had one. He never used it, but you could. <laughs> it was holstered. <laughs> He never he used it because he his prescription ran out. <laughs> Silly can only get it up with the aid of uh, industrial equipment. <laughs> well, the first machine you have to hook up gives me a big pulse of air. <laughs> you gotta inflate it. He's so hung and so <laughs> infirm. <laughs> it takes a team of five engineers. <laughs> Well, then you gotta get the pulley system attacked, attached to these nodes. <laughs> like, Drake's grave robbing adventures seriously bring in millions and millions of dollars a month, and that's all it goes to. <laughs> They're barely living hand to mouth. <laughs> Except uh, now that Sully's dead, he's not gonna know what to do with all the money. Should go back and loot his body for that incredibly in expensive system <laughs> that they erected for him. doesn't keep it in his pants. It takes like a whole trailer. <laughs> gotta just hook up a computer to it to control it properly. No. You have no bullets. You are completely well, I bullets out of bullets. Now. I got bullets. Yeah, good job throwing that grenade, Mr. Pirate Man. <laughs> Not so tough, are ya? What a terrible pirate. He deserved to die. <laughs> and I also know these... just the man who can make that happen. <laughs> these pirates are really twitchy. They, they're they pretty good at dodging bullets sometimes. <laughs> the pirates know that there is no spoon. <laughs> Anybody? No? Okay, I'll just charge on forward. Except for that one guy. And shoot the ghost I thought was over there. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, can't I can keep track of these people? What's wrong with you? Usually when I play the game, there usually is a guy to the right. I just killed him earlier than I usually do. But you, there usually is two guys cooped up in there. There's a guy hiding somewhere. Well, it's nice there if he likes to get cozy. <laughs> Cuddle a bit. Well, it's their last few minutes alive, so... Now now you're just enjoying this. This is sick and <laughs> depraved. Sick and depraved. Well, they're shooting at me! No, they're not! They had guns! I'm sure they were going to intend to shoot at me. Maybe. You don't know that, because they're dead. <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. Now's the time when I go solo. Too bad, I'm back. Ugh! 
There's a thing. Hmm. Huh. These aren't Spanish. They're English. Whoa! Fletcher, we have gone to the Great Tower. I pray that you will meet us there. Francis Drake. Wow. So you made it. But what were you plotting? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a chubby man. There's no way. What, what did he write that in? I don't know. He would have had to, like, oh, engrave Freddy. it into the walls, and it still wouldn't have survived, in all likelihood. Yeah. I should point out, when I killed that fat man, Drake actually said, Here you go, fatty. <laughs> well, I'm glad you pointed it out. That's... that's nice. It really changed my opinion of him for the better. <laughs> it must be Drake's tower. Uh, I can't tell without a giant arrow pointing it to it, sorry. Look at it. Oh my, oh my. Oh yeah. Did a backflip. They should all do backflips. I like backflip back button. Just a backflip button. <laughs> Just do a ha havoc, havoc physics engine ragdoll flip. Constantly. <laughs> Just rapidly press the button and you levitate. Yes. To <laughs> I need that button in every game now. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. But I love ragdoll physics. I don't care if they look really retarded, they're hilarious. I would not wear those jeans. I'm sorry, Drake, you are not my fashion inspiration. <laughs> but what about fitspiration? Don't use portmanteaus with me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, jump up here. I don't know why I'm going up here. It's... I liked it. That was fun. What? Where'd she go? Yeah, yeah. No, she... I thought I had to ju jump up there for some reason. Shouldn't you be trying to find Camera Woman all this time? Like, what? Yeah, we're trying. He has five different objectives in mind. He just knows go somewhere. And... <laughs> just go somewhere, and eventually something will happen. Like he predicted when he saw the parachute. He'll find one of the things he's looking for. Because there are so many, he can't help but do so. Yeah. No, drink! Oh, no, no. Die. A crumbling oh. ledge. I never would have expected it. We need more mass murderers like you, Drake. <laughs> mass murder in self defense. He's gonna. I plead guilty to killing many, 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 many foreigners. But it was in self defense. <laughs> I only killed 300 in self defense. There were a lot of people that wanted me dead. I don't know why. This must have been Drake's. So what were you looking for, huh? Well now, that looks familiar. Huh. The ship's never left. Elena! Hey, there she is. Oh, crap. Oh. 